Russian army throws unprepared irregular troops into offensive in Ukraine. Russia is increasingly using irregular military formations in offensive operations against Ukraine. Such units are more vulnerable and have apparently suffered significantly heavier losses than other enemy units over the past nine months. The British Ministry of Defense announced this. As noted on the department's page on the X social network, the Russian Federation is using the aforementioned formations despite the fact that they are unprepared, untrained, and have no artillery or air support. This makes them more vulnerable than units of the regular Russian army. One example of such Russian units is the Volunteer Corps, created in 2023, consisting of more than 20,000 reservists, mercenaries, and ex-convicts, the British Ministry of Defense noted. The agency also states that these formations serve in irregular units under a single command and control. These formations have probably suffered proportionally greater losses over the past nine months compared to Russian regular units, the ministry said. Earlier, it became known that an 18-year-old Russian occupier who wanted to earn money for his family in the war was liquidated at the front. The invader turned 18 a month before his death, and he decided to sign a contract instead of being drafted into the army. He was liquidated seven days later, according to Oboz Revitel, media outlet. The Russian military, facing significant losses in Ukraine, increasingly relies on unconventional units like the Volunteer Corps. Established in 2023, this unit comprises volunteers, reservists, mercenaries and ex-prisoners, totaling around 20,000 men. These irregular forces, often lacking artillery or air support, are vulnerable and suffer high casualty rates. Despite this, they conduct various operations from sabotage to amphibious raids. The conflict's toll is heavy, with Russia losing over 1,000 troops daily and approximately 550,000 men since the war began. The Russian military is fighting a war in Ukraine that is stretching its very fabric. Increasingly, Russian commanders have to rely on unconventional and irregular units to make up for the destructive losses Russian line units suffer every day on the front lines. Another occupier who deserted from the Russian army said that the reasons for the huge losses of Russians are the insane orders of commanders and practice of zeroing out the unwanted and the use of blocking detachments. Depending on the quality of the irregular unit and the connections of the commander to the high command, they will get more or less support. Irregular units full of mercenaries from foreign countries are typically used as cannon fodder to attrite the Ukrainian defenders and deplete their resources. On the other hand, Russian special operations units expect to receive the highest level of support. The conflict in Ukraine is ideal for irregular fighting, with such operations frequently undertaken by both sides. Sabotage operations deep behind enemy lines, amphibious raids with jet skis, nighttime raids across rivers, targeted suicide drone attacks and trench raids are some of the irregular actions taking place in the Ukrainian conflict. Тепленькая, да? А, ну прохладненькая, это хорошо. Боковая разложа еще, блядь. Thank <laughs> you.